Today's gonna be sick! Influencers in the wild. Well, let's see if we remember how to do this. Hopefully my GoPro setup is great. Did it all last night. We got all brand new gear today, which is always, I can't see my thing. All right, there we go. New sled, new gear, and lots of power. Thanks. Where to? <laughs> all right, we got a new GoPro set up today, so I don't know if you guys are gonna hear me on the trail. <laughs> oh, do I? Cool. That is you. That is you. How's it going? <laughs> I watch all your videos. So right on. I don't want to drive with this. <laughs> Sorry for the terrible GoPro setup today. Pretty much ruined the video for me because all the storyline and everything I said, you guys couldn't hear. First I had the mic up here, it was working, and then I moved it into the mouthpiece where, you know, where I usually have it and where you can hear me better. Um, and then it just stopped working when I put it there. I think there's one GoPro clip where it worked. So, apologize in advance. We still made a video and we still have fun out there, but it uh, might be a little chopped up. Since it was a stormy day today, we headed straight for the trees, and man, did I feel rusty at the start. Mason and Trevor. <laughs> Mason is on a Gen 5 Turbo 154, same as me. Dallas on the Gen 4, and Trevor on the Gen 4 850s, both turbo, I think. We got a lot of old tracks under here. So we'll try and find somewhere. Oh my god, <laughs> Try and find somewhere we got. A touch pal, be a little better. What the heck? Making some weird sounds. What the hell? So it was really hard to hear in the GoPro audio, but there was some odd sounds like kind of like grinding coming from the clutch on engagement. It didn't always do it. And then by the end of the day, it didn't do it at all. So I'm not really sure what it was. You know, it's so weird. All right. It's like sucking you into every tree. Yeah. Like, eh? I'm, I'm just like, oh, I can't ride, but <laughs> it's good to hear it's not just me. What the hell? Let's look at the clutches once more. Something just seems weird. Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. Day one out here for me. We're kind of off to a weird start here today, but we're up here with a new dew. Uh, we're running with Dallas, Trevor, and Mason, and the snow's getting pretty deep. Not super deep, but it's good. Stoked to finally be out here. Had a bit of a delay, but we're here now. We're out and riding. 
Happy to be here. sure a lot of people can relate to this you go into the season with so much confidence thinking you're gonna ride so well and then you ride like this don't let it ever get you discouraged though it'll take you a few days and then you'll be right right back where you were the season before rip it <laughs> oh my god plenty of break I'm totally exhausted from doing nothing first day can't ride with the crap how you guys feeling <laughs> Weird. <laughs> weird. Yeah, that, that was weird. Oh, oh yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> there we go. Now we're making progress. Think she'll back up now? Thanks for the help. <laughs> we'll see how far we make it now. <laughs> for sledding and just like last year doesn't happen and then it really kills you the first week or so looks like i got a bit of foot packing to do here to get myself out but shouldn't be too bad We're in desperate need of a drink. You really forget how tiring it is when you're getting stuck. I mean, even just riding when you're out of shape is pretty bad. <laughs> you know, I'm not doing well when I gotta change my lenses because that is pretty much never. 
<laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have dropped down there. <laughs> Whose idea was it going to here? Three, two, one. <laughs> Four. <sighs> wow, it doesn't get any any thinner. Lovely. I would have liked to go up there. Oh! What is that? Oh, sorry guys. Oh, that's not nice. Oh my god, oh, lovely, broke my vent too. Oh, this is better, nice and open. Okay, my belt is slipping though. Woo, still, still nuking out here, snow's coming down. We don't quite have a full reset yet, so you kind of got to find somewhere with no old tracks. And I mean, this is a mint zone in here, but unfortunately, the vent for the clutch broke. I have no idea how, because I, I didn't think I really did anything. But uh, yeah, the clutch now fills up with snow and the belt slips. So I need some tape. And of course, it being day one, I'm unprepared and I don't have tape. Um, so I'm kind of waiting for the other guys to come through here. So while we're waiting, we may as well do a snow depth test. Pretty much every year when I start riding, I've seen no less than like two, 210. I'm not exactly sure how many meters we're at here, probably around 1600, but let's see what we got. Oh, is that it? 175. We'll check a couple spots here. 160 to 180. <laughs> what was that trail? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry for that trail. There were so many one-liners.
<laughs> Forgot to press record on the GoPro, but that's where we were. Made a turn, came through here, wanted to go there, <laughs> ended up getting shot down through here. And I come through here and see a, a bag sitting there and a helmet shoveling. We got Mason. <laughs> We're all within like a hundred feet in the thick trees here. Oh <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're right against that tree. <laughs> Did he make it? <laughs> oh, right into the tree. Oh, maybe right past the tree. I can't see. Am I going to get roosted? <laughs> At this point now, Trevor and Mason headed home because it is Christmas Eve after all and their family was in town. But Dallas and I were itching to get in a couple more hot laps since we ended up being stuck in those tight trees there for like two hours. tracks down there yeah this is not too pretty what are we getting ourselves into <laughs> oh. oh yeah straight up waterfall nice I'm no, not sure, dude. We'll just go this way, see what we find. We're gonna end up back in that crap if we drop down any farther. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely into that thick stuff. Oh no. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Definitely took me a bit to adjust to this sled this morning, but doing a little better now. Not feeling so, so rough. Not chainsaw rough, but like saws all rough. That was a nice duck. That was a nice racket. That is a nice duck. <laughs> and then it was getting dark, so it was time to slowly head her out. And this is your typical uh, trail out of this spot at the end of the day. Can't see a thing. Even though it's not really snowing that hard, it's just the clouds are always super thick through here when it's storming. Oh, I guess you, you need the ramp here or what? Oh, yeah. Always. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> right in the parking lot. <laughs> You know, they got a decent amount of snow here in town, but you know how I was telling you Dorset, where I live in Ontario, got a lot of snow? I'm getting more pictures in now, and oh my god, I'm, uh, I'm really jealous I'm not there, to be totally honest. I mean, it's great to be here, but uh, I've never experienced what they're experiencing at home. So that would have been pretty cool. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video and maybe you get out for your own Christmas ride too. I'm hoping to get up there for a quick little joy ride today with uh, Chloe. So we'll see what happens. If you guys want to ask me some questions down in the comments, I'll try and answer them on the video while I'm tree riding, which will be hard. It'll kind of be like a broken Q and A, but uh, yeah, so long as my mic works, I think that'd be good.